So my pressure washer was not running off choke. It would only run on choke. And I took this out, the carburetor. This is the bowl. And the bowl was completely rusted on the inside. <clears throat> I'll show a picture of the before, but it was, it was bad. This is what it looks like now. It needs to be replaced from all the corrosion you can see in there. It's kind of etched its way into the metal. But this is what it looks like after soaking in vinegar and some light sanding. Two days in the vinegar. I just rinsed it off with some dish soap. Um, what we're actually going to do now is something called oil quenching. A lot of people use use it for gun, gun parts. They call it bluing or hot bluing. I don't know if it's actually true bluing, but... What oil quenching is, is we're going to get this really hot. We're going to dip it in some vegetable oil. And then it's going to leave this nice black coat that's going to really help prevent it from rusting. And it's also a little bit of an experiment to see if uh, that can be done with a steel part like this, a carburetor bowl, if it's going to fit. You know, it should be fine because if people use it on gun parts that are precise and can't be warped, it should be fine with this. This is pretty crappy metal. So we're going to heat it up, dump it in some vegetable oil. We're going to see how it comes out. All right, we quenched the car bowl, and this is actually the color we got. It's a pretty cool looking color. If you keep doing it, it'll get darker. It'll add another layer, but I'm pretty happy with this. You can see we got a nice layer of protection in there, so hopefully we won't get any more corrosion. I'll go ahead and throw this on the uh, carburetor, and uh, I'll do a, I'll do a follow-up video on how it runs. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you find this useful or interesting, please like and subscribe.